Yo, how's it going everybody? First, I just want to say welcome to the channel. I'm the Grass Ninja, and today we're gonna be going over some Boruto, Naruto, Next Generations, predictions, and theories, which will include information from the anime, manga, and even the light novels. And with that being said, we're gonna hop right into the video in 3, 2, 1, let go. Yo, yo, what's good? It's the Grass Ninja. Let's get it started, all right? So, with today's video, we're gonna be talking about Kawaki's new karma seal. How does he get it? Who gives it to him? Let's get into it, all right? So, basically, how does Kawaki have the karma in the future when we see Boruto and Kawaki face off on the Hokage monuments? The two are clearly using karma, but last we saw, Kawaki's karma has been successfully removed so then, how does Kawaki have karma, and whose karma is it? Meaning, who's Kawaki, or who is gonna, um, who's Kawaki going to be the vessel for next, right? Well, if we if we look um at Boruto and Kawaki's conversation in uh, Boruto chapter 56, Kawaki tells Boruto about Code and lets him know that you know Code is extremely dangerous, and that he has the White Karma Seal. Kawaki also mentions that since Boruto and himself are roughly 80% Otsutsuki, uh, and Boruto even more so, that it would stand to reason that Boruto and Kawaki can use the techniques of the Otsutsuki clan, which would mean the two of them can do things like absorb ninjutsu, um, fly, utilize space-time ninjutsu, and even implanting their own karma seal, effectively creating their own vessels, making them low-key immortal. All right, so Kawaki goes on to explain that branding someone with karma isn't so easy since it took Jigen and a model working together and testing the technique on several test subjects uh, to successfully, in air quotes right now, successfully create two karma seals and only one of those karma was capable of reviving Ishiki, which is the primary uh, function of the karma seal, right? So out of the two karmas, only one was capable of reviving Ishiki. And that's kind of what I want to focus on in this video, right? So Kawaki tells Boruto to brand code, or that he should brand code with karma because he's the only other person he can think of that could even survive the process since code was able to survive um, Ishiki's ritual, right? But, um... Yeah, so, but like code isn't actually like a vessel for anyone, right? So uh, yeah, so that's what that's what Kawaki talks about in the in the chapter. He talks about how cool, uh, Code isn't able to become Ishiki's vessel. He says, "Ah um, oh, man." Kawaki tells Boruto to brand Code with Karma because he's the only person that he can think of that could even survive the process, since Code was able to survive Ishiki's ritual, but isn't actually a vessel for anyone. Stating that it makes sense to try someone who's already survived it once. It's that line right there where uh, Kawaki says that it makes sense to try it uh, and brand someone with karma who's already survived the ritual. It's that line right there that really makes me think uh, that, that eventually we're going to see um, Boruto brand Kawaki with his own karma, effectively making Kawaki Boruto's vessel. And uh, there's actually some evidence in the manga that already supports this being the case. So. If we look back in the manga when uh, Kashin Koji finally took down Jigen and forced Ishigi to revive himself, that's what caused Kawaki's karma uh, to break, successfully freeing Kawaki from karma and ultimately um, being Ishigi's vessel, right? And shortly after this, Kawaki is complaining about the situation he's currently in when he f uh, when he uh, when he was uh, hiding in the Leaf's secret bunker with Amado, Kotasuke, and uh, Sumire, right? And Amado remarks about Kawaki's lack of joy from finally being free of the karma and continues on to say maybe he's just frustrated because now that he doesn't have the karma, he feels powerless, helpless, and without purpose. 
going as far as to say that Kawaki even misses the karma, which, you know, could eventually manifest itself in a way that drives Kawaki to seek the power of karma again. And now the crazy part is that there are a couple ways for, Ka uh, for Kawaki to receive uh, a new karma and become Boruto's vessel. So like number one, like Momoshiki just takes over Boruto, kidnaps Kawaki, and begins to search for the Ten Tails. And while Momoshiki's uh, dimension hopping, Boruto's will or like his consciousness, right, uh, begins to awaken, causing Momoshiki to have to like alter to like tweak his plan, and decides to make Kawaki his second vessel, branding him with a new karma in order to make a better god fruit. Uh, but in the middle of the process. Boruto can like regain his consciousness somehow or regains control but since he's right in the middle of the karma ritual uh, Boruto can't stop it and he accidentally ends up branding Kawaki with his own soul or like with his own karma you know that, that, that's easy enough that's like the easy way uh, the other way is that uh, number two would be Kawaki makes Boruto activate the karma seal ritual through resonance and like I know that Kawaki doesn't have the karma seal now but we've seen this strange thing happen where it looks like Kawaki was able to assist Boruto in creating a space-time uh, portal at the end of the Battle of Ishiki. Uh, and at this point, Kawaki's karma, like the, the Ishiki karma seal, or the, when he was uh, Ishiki's vessel, that karma is gone. But he was somehow able to influence Boruto's karma in order to open a portal and return the cast to the Leaf Village, right? Maybe when Boruto attempts to brand Code with Karma, it fails because for whatever reason, Code just isn't compatible with becoming anyone's vessel. Then I could easily see Kawaki volunteering himself to be the next potential vessel for Boruto since we know based off of Kawaki's hypothesis, if you can survive the Karma ritual, then uh, you're, you're a good candidate to receive the Karma again, right? Also, if we assume Amado's statement about uh, Kawaki's feelings of karma leaving him, uh, leaving him feeling like powerless and without purpose to be true, then it would kind of make sense in a way because if they can't stop Momoshiki from coming back, uh, it would make sense for Kawaki to gain more power and purpose by serving Bo as Boruto's vessel, effectively saving like his brother from certain death, right? Now, like, don't get it twisted, I don't think Kawaki's plan is to actually sacrifice himself if, uh, because like, if he does wield a new karma and it functions as Boruto's vessel, then I don't think it's above his moral code to go out and search for his own vessel to prepare, uh, to prepare for his eventual return uh, once his body is used to revive Boruto. And uh, one more thing, you need to, uh, you know, people's eyes can say a lot. If you and uh, if you read in chapter 56, uh, and you take a pay, uh, look at pages uh, 35 and 36, I think it is, you'll notice that Kawaki's eyes they aren't filled with like their usual anger and rage that's just like dormant inside him all the time, but they actually look kind of sad. And it's like it's as if he's already realized as he's telling uh, his plan about code to Boruto. It's, it's as if he's already realized that he may have to end up sacrificing himself uh, and like receiving another karma in order to save his brother Boruto but uh you know hey what do you guys think uh you know do you think uh Momoshiki's gonna kidnap Kawaki and brand him and then they're gonna you know plot armor no jutsu and have Boruto just kick in and it's gonna be like uh mixed up that way or do you think Kawaki's gonna take it upon himself and like force Boruto to to give him karma so that way he can uh save Boruto um but yeah, you know, that was just my, my quick theory uh, after reading chapter 56. I really thought that was uh, something kind of cool since basically they, they can both pretty much, they're both pretty much immortal at this point. So yeah, you know, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments. You know, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, you know, check out my social media, uh, read the manga, links in the description. And uh, yeah, I'm the Grass Ninja and I'm out.